A very first exercise to answer the what question is to go back to the documents you hopefully prepared in step two about the heart of your invention. Review these documents. You need to determine at this point what kinds of and how many drawings you need to prepare for your application. As you determine the types, the number, and the order of drawings you will need, you should be able to make at least rough versions of the drawings. You can then develop and reorder and add to the set as you go. To do this, you will need to make hand-drawn sketches or line drawings in a vector drawing program. If you have never used a computerized drawing program before, you will be best advised to acquire a sketchbook and to make hand sketches as you define and develop your set. If you are experienced and adept with a computerized program, by all means use it. The very best way to learn to do just about anything is to follow in the footsteps of people who have done what you want to do. In this case, that means to review actual patents, determine the heart of the matter in each patent you study, and see how the author created and ordered the figures for the patent. We provide from our own database 10 examples to help you toward this goal. These are available in the Patent Rights Restored website under Resources. We will lead you through the process for one of these patents and you can then review all 10 at your leisure. The process is to determine the patentable subject matter at the heart of the invention for the patent you are reviewing, then to look at the figures in order. This review should reveal for you how this author decided to prepare and, and author the figures. Here is the top portion of the front page of one patent of the 10 examples we provide. This one is US 8869445 for a fishing lure invented by Sam Kennedy, who won a Super Bowl ring as a linebacker with the San Francisco 49ers. We have enlarged the abstract, which describes salient features of the lure. The heart of the matter is that there were no lures imitating birds before Sam Kennedy's lure. Here is figure one of the bird lure patent, which shows a side elevation view with the lure out of water. The body, wings, tail, and other elements are shown and have element numbers and witness lines according to the convention that we propose. Here is figure two of the bird lure patent showing all of the elements of figure one in a top view, also called a plan view. Figure 3 is a section view, also called a cutaway view, to show elements within the hollow body of the lure. Figure 4 is another elevation view of the bird lure, showing an optional embodiment of the invention having legs and feet, not seen in the embodiments shown by the previous figures. Figure 5 is an overhead plan view of the lure of figure 1 showing how certain elements may move with the lure floating on a surface of water. Figure 6 is a flowchart that presents sequential steps for using the bird lure. Figure 7 is a top plan view of a fishing lure according to another alternative embodiment of the invention wherein shape of the body and placement of elements like eyes is managed such that the lure will appear the same to a fish whether the lure lands right side up or upside down on the water surface. Figure 8 is a bottom view of the lure of figure 7. Figure 9 is a side view of the body of the lure illustrating shape and placement of a hook, hook shank, and eye in the body of the lure. Figures 10a and 10b illustrate perspective views of hooks 10A is the hook of figure 9. Figure 10B is a perspective view of a cam activated hook assembly. Figure 11 is a plan view of the lure body of the fishing lure. Figure 12 is a perspective view of a single shank hook, useful embodiments of the invention. In summary, the entire goal right now is to provide you with enough examples that you may decide upon the figures that you need to explain your invention in the utility patent application that you are preparing to file. 
If you go through all 10 of the real world examples we provide as resources, you should develop the insight to be able to decide upon and lay out the basics of your own drawing set. If you need more examples to be able to develop your drawing set, the U.S. Patent Office has literally millions of issued patents and millions of published applications which you may download and print out to review to see how the millions of inventors and legal representatives who prepared these patent applications decided what drawings they needed to explain their inventions in their patent applications. You may use the search pages at the USPTO as we described in the search section of our guidance videos to find lists of patents or applications that may be in the same technical area as your invention. When you select a patent or an application from a search list returned, you will get a page that looks like this. Select images. In the interface after selecting images, select the link for full pages. Then follow the process for your browser application to download the PDF file of all of the pages of the application or patent you selected. Alternatively, you may simply copy the patent or application number and go to the website www.pat2pdf.org where you may enter the number and quickly download the application or patent you wish to review. We heartily recommend that you become familiar with PAT2PDF, to PDF, which is PAT, the numeral 2, PDF, as it is a very useful way to retrieve copies of patents and applications for whatever your purpose. We trust that through our guidance in your diligent study and review that you now have a plan for the several figures in your drawing set. Our goal is that our guidance will enable you to do everything on your own. However, if you find at any juncture that you are unsure and need further help, you may elect to go to services in our Patent Rights Restored homepage, and you will find a list of services with affordable pricing to provide the specific aid you need at any specific point. The next video in this drawing series is designed, once you have decided on the drawings that you need, to guide you to render professional drawings that will be acceptable to the Patent Office for examination of your patent application.